All right, welcome to our reading class today. Today we are reviewing something that we have talked about. It's been a little while, and this will be a very short review. So first thing, I am going to randomly call people in class so you all better stay on your toes. Um, the first type of text structure, now this is text structure of fiction or nonfiction. What are we usually talking about when we say text structure? Is it fiction stories or nonfiction stories? Madeline? Nonfiction. Nonfiction, okay. So when authors write factual stuff, they have five choices about how they're going to organize it. The first one is description, to tell about something. Someone that I'm about to call is going to give me a topic that you could write descriptively. Chloe, give me a topic that I could write about using the descriptive organizing style. Fish? fish? Yeah, I could tell all about a type of fish, right? Great example. All right, Chloe passed. Let's see. The next one, order and sequence. When you want to show events or procedures in order of time, what type of a thing would I want to write? And I'm going to call, oh, we've got lots of hands. Wonderful. Cadence. Um, well, you would have to tell its life from when it was born until when it died. But that would work. Okay. Madeline, do you have a different one? I could tell about Martin Luther King. Yeah. Anytime you give a biography about a person, tell about their life, do you say, this person died this date? They got married then. They had a baby then. They were born then. Why is that confusing? Hayden? Because it's like not an order. Yeah, we need, it. we need an order like a timeline. Does that help our brains understand it better? Yes. Yes. Josiah? It also doesn't make sense because he died first. Yeah. If you have it all out of order, some stories, you can't do that. So some need to be in the right order. What about like a cookbook? Would that need to be order and sequence? Yes. yes. Why? Someone tell me why. Eric? Um, so like um, when you put the, well, and, um, but when you put all the stuff and um, cookies, you don't want to put the chocolate chip and chips because I'll just break on you. Yeah. Okay. I now need all of the pairs. So pairs, if you need to bring your your. All right. Um. So, I think that pause worked correctly. Yes, it did. All right. So yeah, when you're making cookies, anything really, you have to do the steps in order. If you went backwards, you would not get the same thing. Make sure we're focused. All right. Compare and contrast. What does that mean? If I'm reading an article that's comparing and contrasting, what might they be doing? Noah. Comparing and contrasting. Yep. They're taking one thing and then taking another thing and they're finding their differences and what they have alike. Perfect description. Okay. So if I wanted to say the differences between a lion and a tiger, could I use compare and contrast? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Good, All right. Good. Two more. Cause and effect. What's that one like, Angie? Mm, it's like when something happens and um, then it like gets, you know. It causes something else to happen, like, right? Like, people started throwing um, trash in the <coughs> ocean, and the effect was that animals were eating it. And Good. If you didn't hear that, she said, people throw trash in the ocean is the cause, the effect, the animal started to eat the trash. Okay. Hold on real quick, guys. The very last one is similar to cause and effect. How is it different? Let's go with the one Angie said. How could I change her idea of trash in the ocean is making animals sick? How can I change that from cause and effect to problem and solution? Josiah? How, like, the problem is um, there's trash in the ocean. Solution is people, people, how people can fix that. Yeah. So the way to tell these two apart, if they give you a solution to the problem, then you know it's problem solution. If they just tell you a problem and what's happening from it, it's cause and effect. So I've got a few quick things, and we'll just see if you guys know. Those of you at home, play along. Tell me, or don't actually tell me, but you should know in your head which of these five I options. Need Rachel, Olivia, Katie Winston. Um, if you're a para, an aide of any distinction, I need you down here now. All right, I'm going to read this. Sorry, guys, for all the announcements. This has been going on all day. Uh, I'm going to read a topic, and then you need to decide what text structure we would use to write it. We've done this before, so we're just reviewing. Bailey, that also includes you to come down to get your picture taken. Uh -huh. 
Good thing we're patient, huh? Okay, here's our first one. Madeline? Um, I, know, I got another good one called Epic, like the Grizzlies and Glacier that I just read. Because yeah. they were throwing trash everywhere and the Grizzlies ate it. So it caused them to kill people and stuff. Good one. Very good one. And you could also find a problem solution to that because after that started happening, then they started to create solutions to fix the problem. It's a good example. All right, which one would we use to write about this? Everyone listen. To list the causes leading to the Civil War. Think about it. This happened in time, right? It happened back in history. Think about how you usually write stuff like that. This one, I, th I would think you could do more than one option if you told me why. Hudson? Um, order and sequence and problem and solution. Did we solve the problem? No. Or did we just talk cause and effects? Cause and effects? Yep. To list the causes leading to the Civil War, we're just saying these are all the causes that led to a war, right? But you could also do order and sequence. Anything back in time, you usually tell it in order. All right, good. Let's try this one. That one's too hard. Mm. To tell about the building materials used to make the Golden Gate Bridge. What would we want to use? Hayden? Um, order and sequence. Possibly, if they gave directions. But if I'm just describing the materials. Description. Description, good. All right, more of you need to participate. To tell about how batteries can leak toxic materials when they're thrown in the trash and what people can do to recycle them properly. Emma? Description. We can be more specific than that. Madeline? Problem and solution. Problem and solution. They said a solution. They said we can tell people what to do to recycle them properly. Good. Ooh. To tell about how a firefly is able to create its own light. Angie? Description. Description. Good. We're just describing. To examine the differences between Arctic animals and Antarctic animals. Chloe? Compare and contrast. Compare and contrast. Good. All right. We'll do two more. Um, to describe what happens to your teeth if you eat too much sugar. Oh. Noah? What was the thing again? To describe what happens to your teeth if you eat too much sugar. Cause and effect. Cause and effect. They didn't give us a solution, did they? All right, last one. To look at a polar bear's physical features, its food preferences, and its habitat. Zoe? Do we have just one animal? Polar bear. It's just polar bear. So if we're only talking about one animal, I'll read it again. There you go. There you go. Okay. All right. So you all will have some practice on that. I will see you later. Have a good day.